Oh, there you go. You're welcome. That's a great shot. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Oh, that is a good shot. <laughs> All right. Technically, we don't even need this light right here. Boom. Trito Plura, T R E T O P L E U. It's pretty steep here, yeah? Yes, yeah, I'm coming up pretty hard. Okay, I would note that it's gotten steeper because we were just over a flatter bit for a second there. No, uh, it seems to be pretty steep for that like 40 maybe. And there's a, so that's a dead sponge there. Yeah. It looks like it used to be a big ball of soma or something, or maybe it was a polyopagon actually you probably. That? No, it's okay. I'm just okay. talking about it. Um, sure. But I, it would be great to take a look at uh, some of the black corals that were passing. So well, if we could look over here, maybe. These ones here. Uh, yeah, right. What it, cool. I see what you're seeing. These just bones. kidding. Okay, what's right in front of us is great. What we can see in the other camera. Okay. Double. Uh, let me turn this light off. Boop. That is an awesome shot. You're welcome. Are you taken? <laughs> <laughs> we have some viewers saying there's been awesome footage from the cinematic cam, too. Yeah. You're welcome. Uh, if we could zoom on the... Oh, sorry, yes, uh, go ahead, Panos. You don't necessarily have to wait for me to say it. If we're nice and stable, you can go ahead and zoom. If I don't like it, I'll tell you to zoom out. Oh, nice. Shrimp. Oh, so, <laughs> we're like it when we're normally. looking at these bathopathies here, we're trying to look at the at the front of them, which I've, obviously they just happen to be facing the other way. That's okay. But we're trying to look at the front of them and see if there are worm associates on them. So this is currently... The wrong side, so that's all right, but we have some good pictures over here. So um, does that oh. one ha so the one in the foreground is a little out of view right now. There's a kind of a bent stock. Is that breakaged or just No, I think it's a strong flow. current. Strong do, current. Do yeah, there is a strong current. Slash us. You maybe. can see even the umbilical uh -huh. getting pulled over. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, okay so now that I see it a little bit clearer, it does seem strong current out of the south-ish. Can you zoom out for a little bit? I'm just going to get us a little more stable, um, a little bit wider. That's okay. We can move on from this spot. Oh, like a brittle star in the, in the clops. We'll see if we can. Yeah, I think because of this current, it'll probably be difficult to get a view of the black holes from the side that we're interested in. But um, Here it will be because I'm going to hit that. I'm going to well, land on that spot yeah, to our left. Right, but, but we maybe can find something spot. else. I'm sure there'll be another one. Okay. Look at those basket star or not basket, excuse me, brittle stars. I think, could we zoom yet? on Yes, on yeah, go ahead, Panos. Quick. I'm going to, uh, yeah, there's at the top of the frame there, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay, yeah. It looks like a... Hold it there. Um. So that's an Aritic Gorge. Uh, Hemicorallium at the base, too. Yep, um, it is one but parts I think we'd right have to zoom better on that one, actually. Sorry, what... Uh, All right, go ahead, yeah, as much as you want. Yeah, wow, it's really beautiful. Cool Ophiroids. Is the stalk of that coral curved? It is. Oh, yeah. It's like oh, wow. Like yeah, it's like spiral. spiraled. Yeah. yeah, so that one's called Magnus Spiralis, big spiral. Uh, or Aridogorgia Magnus Spiralis. And you can kind of see the gold skeleton, the Chrysogorgia. It's Chryso for gold. They have gold skeletons. All right, I'm uh, moving forward ahead. Yeah, we can uh, keep yeah. moving. Zoom out, please. That's a cool bathopathies in the back. And a pretty big semi-corallium fan. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. We earned this, people. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. And we only get like half a watch next. Yeah, I don't feel here. guilty about this at <laughs> all. <Yeah. laughs> oh, that's a gorgeous semi-corallium. That we just can't stay. Yeah, like two hundred and how many? Forty. I know. I'm like, I could stay here all day. It's cool. You can kind of see the polyopagons are growing towards the current. They have that that concave face face towards the current. The concavity. Yeah. So that must be a pretty prevailing direction. Or convex in this game because it's in the direction of the 
Concave towards Concave current. towards current, yeah. Ooh, Ooh we're going to need to take that. a picture oh. of that. Wow. Looks like another ROV came through and sampled that one on the right before oh, yeah. us. <laughs> another one. Looks like they put the skid through <laughs> it. Oh, wow. Yeah. If we could get some good pictures of this in the um, in both cameras, that would be awesome. Sure. So are th these are all different? All polyopical. Multiple sponges all kind of yeah, clustered together. Yeah, on that same rock. Who knows? There's something. It seems like they'd be fighting yeah. for location there. Yeah, the one in the back might not get as much. Oh, that's <laughs> so <laughs> beautiful. That yeah, for the good them. shot. Yeah, that's it. So <laughs> these, if we're looking at these 10 centimeter lasers. You can zoom in a bit, Panos, if you'd like. You getting these, Jane? Yep. Uh, we don't need to zoom too far oh, in. Oh, yeah. If you wanted to get like a pirouette around it, yeah, that would go, be. I would advise cool. going uh, to your right, so I can uh, come around. Okay. Yeah, if we could dance around it a little, that'd be awesome. I love the ballet terms, a little pirouette around the sponges. Can we turn off the lasers, please? Actually, briefly. Yeah, I guess. Can we zoom out a little bit? Nice. That's, that's, that's great. Good, yeah. Just yeah. Great shots. Oh yeah, there you go, Heisel. Yeah, that's awesome. So is, is that, that focus good? Is that apparent yeah. damage up on top of that one? That's sure. what yeah, I don't know why that one is growing that way or. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, oh this good. is awesome. Just for kicks, if you want, you can zoom in on Atlanta too, just for kicks. Since we're, we got nowhere to go. And the Ferreids in the back. Just such a nice assemblage. I'm sorry, I'm hitting the wall behind us. Oh, yeah, there's like a that's rock all right good. There. I think we got some beautiful, Oops. ooh, <laughs> you're yeah, in just it. Go go forward, go get, that, get that 3D go action. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Wow, look at everything. There's so much yeah, stuff up here. It's hard yeah, to I focus gotta come on. Up. I don't have space. Oh. That's Sorry. all good. No, that was great. That's all right. That was good getting us out of that tight spot. Um, and then it just I didn't dropped. realize how tight it was until I looked at it. Yeah. Line, yeah. I, yeah. Like, oh. I just looked like, at Atalanta's B2. What's I was happening? Like, I, I can't back up. And that's Gotta go. So, but when There's we see the, sh the view of the Atlanta, it's amazing that we can yeah. have a proportion of all the, the assemblage there. Yeah, yeah. you're welcome. And I don't know if you saw Jane, but... Um. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I do what I can. Yes, I it's do all for the science. It's all yeah. for science. It's all for you, science. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff here. This must be the top. Um, this is the, the top? top of that... It's the top of the first ridge, isn't it, Lynette? Yes, it's, this is kind of the So we're reaching western, waypoint two now-ish, uh, yep, and then... Oh yeah. Now we're going to change well, direction towards like waypoint three. With the current stronger. And yeah, and I wonder if we're just going to actually traverse along a pretty awesome ridge for a while now. Are we going to go, I mean, I'm sure it'd probably be interesting going down the ridge in the direction of the current, right? Uh, in the direction of the current down the ridge. I think we want to stay up on top. If we go down the other side, we might be blocking part of the current if it's coming from this kind of like the right side of our field of view or the... What is this kind of like south, uh, west? I think we are west and. But you're this saying way, if, if we go down to toward the. Oh my gosh, it's so hard for me to. Towards, we're gonna if we go down towards where the current is coming from? Yes. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. That could be interesting. That's what I meant. Some nice hemichorallium and a dead Eritogorgia stock. Yeah, if we could stay on towards the right right side of mm. um, yeah. our track. And I don't know if you could tell, like, the, the color in the other still cam is, like, really more vibrant for some reason. Yeah, the colors are good in that camera. I wonder why. I'm wow, could we zoom on what's right in front of us, actually, this yeah. year? Because the camera's not getting any. Go ahead, uh, Bonos. Any color corrections? 
This is a Rodanarita gorge, I think. I Let's take a sample of that, mm. maybe. Yes. Okay. Not maybe. Let's let's do it. We're, we're, okay. The ship has stopped, so I'm I'm still swinging. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can we come all the way out, please? Um. Okay. Where can we? S it loses focus so fast. In meaning the right side. Yeah, like around the edges. Mm. But the the left is not that bad. It's more than right for some Interesting. reason. Interesting. Huh. There's a Calyptrophora in the back as well. Hey Huge. Mike. Yeah. yeah. We might have to do this one um, on the fly. Uh, There's nowhere to sit. It's a, it's about eight meters up, so it's going to be too tall to sit in front of it. Oh, could you we? Can't sit across, like, uh, oh, because that's where the arm oh, well, is, there's huh? Yeah, it's your, yeah. I could try. We can clip, try and clip from there and then move to a different spot. Okay. Um. Um, but I'm not going to be able to do it because we're going to be teetering on the edge. Okay, let me pull up a little bit so I don't have to worry about because I'm still swinging. I could try. Mm -hmm. um, before yeah, I stop, so we got some time. Before sampling, if it would be possible to get a zoom uh, yeah. closer in, just maybe on where one of the associates are, like there, so we can see okay. that, and the and the coral, that would be great. Oh, there's a squat lobster, maybe, maybe you can go ahead right and zoom here. On us. No, I think it's here. Oh. Um, there's. Ophiroids up there, but there's a squat lobster down below. Yeah, right there. Is that full zoom? Is that a brittle star awesome. climbing through? Yeah, it is. And could we um, pan towards the squat lobster if possible? Oh, wow. That's yeah, a great view of it. The so the squat lobster is actually on the dead portion. Yeah, it is on the dead portion. Cool. Oh, I can push out oh, the port. Okay. Two of them. Yeah, two of so them. if it would be possible to... That's great on the zooms. We're good there. If it would be possible to... I don't know. I know this is a weird spot, so it's t totally okay. okay if you tell me no. But if it would be possible to snip the, snip the living coral section and slurp a squat lobster, that would be sure. awesome. Oh, I don't know if I can do both of them. If, okay, if can not, we, we'll can take we the coral first. Can we come all the way out, first. please? Um, I can also push the port out. Uh, I was just thinking that if you push the porch out, um, it'll. I it'll think I might be able to. Uh, yeah, we might be able to use it to stabilize us against the rock. Yeah, let me try. And give us a little that. more let's space. Try let's try that. Because we have the hard lock now. Yes. So yeah. we don't have to worry about it. Uh, porch out. And Jane, do you see those polyopagons? I do. They'll be. Um, they'll be the same sample. Okay. All right, porch is coming out. Even though they'll be in. Porch is yeah, all the even way though one's taken as a slurp. Yeah. I want to keep them as the same sample. You want okay. to be square down I and make you want to like. Um, we can, we can call it a s okay. just the I snip. Can. That's fine. And just note that the squat lobster was slurped but was an associate on the dead part. But you can hold off until we figure out if we can even get it. I think there is a Staropatis here down as well. Oh, really? We can look after maybe. Only th ask is to keep an eye on the triclops. Oh yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah. that's it's, it's, it's like well, that clops yeah. is clear. Clops is clear. Clops is clear. Yeah, I guess we can see that in our porch. It's a cool shot from Atalanta too. Yeah. You're welcome. Um. <laughs> okay, I can. I think I can hold it here. Um. Try to. If it's possible to hold uh, it. What, do I have enough? Does the uh, craft have enough to get free? Sorry? Oh, yeah, I think you have the space. Tons of space. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, we want to. So I let's mean, take a coral snip first. Okay. 
evacuate. Um, uh, or what's easier for you, Michael? Is it easier to slurp first and then like take the snip and I put that in the box in a, in a while. better spot? Or? Um, but if we were to slurp, we would have to move, right? Huh? If we, if we wanted to slurp first, we would have to move to get it out because it looks like it might hit something. Um, I don't think I have the Maybe. Okay, whichever thing you I think can, needs to happen first, first go clip. for I it. Can clip. I can clip. All right. All right, craft is coming on. Here we go. All right, where'd you want? Can you tell us straight it? Um, sure. Any Anywhere that's easy to reach, but we just want like a, a fit 15 or so centimeter snip off some portion of this colony. Um, if you just like go for wherever is easy to reach, I can tell you how much. And it doesn't need to come off this like central branch. We can take some side branches. Oh yeah, like that would be great if you get like at the base of that. Okay. Is that a shrimp jumping around behind you? Yes. It is, yes. I added added it to the shrimp count already, don't nice you worry. Job, Jane. I hate the uh, trigger on this. I don't want to get too much. You know? So I don't know if you can see, but like if you were to cut right there, that would be awesome. Or higher up, an edge somewhere over there, whatever. Well, uh, it, it's also like further away than yeah. you think, because I'm yeah. also looking at the... Ah, uh, gotcha. Thing. And it's also a lot more fragile than it looks. Oh, it that's looks pretty true. Fragile. I didn't even do anything in it, so it's yeah. already off. Maybe you can just stick the suction sampler up there and go... I'm worried it's going to do the same thing where it just doesn't but you need a long, actually... Do you need a long piece? Uh, it's okay. You want a piece off the main stem that branches out. Um, it doesn't have to be off the main stem. You can take it from the edge if the main stem seems like it'll keep together better. I don't know if that's out of your reach, but I definitely don't want to take too much of it is the only thing. So, like, that's too much. Oh, did the squat lobster just fall off? Mm, I think that's oh, yeah, there's, there's, there's a second one there's now. There's scooching back up into it. Well, one just completely dropped off. Well... Smart. Come on. Hold on, sorry, the vehicle is um drifting away. The vehicle's drifting on me. I just have to hold it live. Can you see him bubble? A little farther in. Oh, yeah, bubble cam. No. Oh, okay, I kind of see. Yeah, I mean, like a snip of up there. Uh, yeah, this is all weird. It's all like really I know, it's very there. hard to tell it's actually what bushy. angle it's all yeah, at. Yeah, it's very bushy. Okay, it is breaking off pretty easily. Maybe a slurp actually would be the, the way to go. The way to go. All right, we could try that. Because it's if we as long as we don't get one of the central branches, it's going to be fairly flexy. So I think you'll probably get if you just try to get the squat lobster, you'll probably get some coral. Yeah. So why don't we go for that? Actually, we'll see. I don't know. There was a squat lobster that scooted back up into it. Get closer to what I need to do. All right, so what's the best way to go about this? It's probably like, like this, like that. Yeah, and then the pucks are really good because you can grab them from any angle. But it's easiest to work the suction sampler when you have it straight from the top. 
it's also easiest to pull it through that sheave when you have it, or through the, the holster, um, when you have it from the top of the box. So like something like this? Yeah, there you go. Okay. Well, maybe not like that. I know it's it's a little bit close to the to the vehicle, so you, if it's hard to grab, you don't have to grab it right from the top. You, the pucks are pretty good. You can <coughs> grab them from anywhere. Come on. Oh, there's the uh, there's the squat. Oh monster. yeah. Actually, if we could just try and slurp that one, that might be best. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Oh. It's not on the rock. To what I wanted to do. Yeah. There you go. It's like right under the porch. <laughs> Why isn't it closing? Can I? There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna pivot us on this rock. Give you a little more space. Do it nice and slow. There you go. So, Michael, a I don't. More elbow. No, I'm gonna keep it here. Okay. Now I need to go to hydraulics. It's going to need to go in four. OK, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, yes. sample sobo. Uh, we need a lot of prep work that needs to get oh. done. Are you met? Uh, What's going on here? Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. It just slipped on the rock. Did I? No, I, the vehicle oh, yeah. slipped. The bumper, the bumper slipped down the rock face a little bit. Okay, now that's there. Stay there, squat lobster. <laughs> uh. I can't tell if it's going. Uh, I don't see any movement in there. It looks like just, well, it's hard to tell if there's nothing in there. Is that it on full blast? I slam it into place. Oh. Squat lobster. <laughs> <laughs> Probably very confused little guy. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Interesting. What Doesn't did you seem just to do? be doing anything. What did you do? Something happen? What did you do? Well, what happened? No, we just uh Yeah. Yeah. It was like 80, 60 or something like that, or 70. Just had a wonderful comment in the chat as we're working through this. Hello, I just wanted to thank you all for the awesome adventures you're sharing so with I the world. So I can't even tell if it's going. And through these live streams. So thank you for your positivity in the chat. Yeah, we appreciate that. thank you. Thanks for watching. Yeah, you're right. It does look like a staropathy's down there. And right in front of the camera here. Say again. Kind of, it's very hard to focus on it. It is. Yeah, you go for it. The staropathies is spelled like star, but with a U after the A. Staropathies. You said four, yeah? Uh, yes, please. Let's see if this works. Yeah, if we see anything in there. 
Oh, yeah, yeah that's oh, yeah. doing there stuff. Maybe there's All like right. a weird pocket. All right. Okay. Um, if we could try and, and s I don't know if this is too close, but like even slurp the squatty first from behind. Was there one that's in the coral? That one fell off of it. There is one in the coral, but it went kind of deep. Uh, I don't know. Um, I might have to turn the vehicle to get that guy. Okay, then we can look oh, in the coral. Oh, I got it. Oh, maybe not. Oh. You might break the hose. Don't break the hose. Yeah. Okay, yeah, well, we can we can look hose. in the coral first. Here, hold on, hold on. I'll pivot you the other way. See if we can get him like that. I might fall off it. Oh, yep. Oh, all right. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, right. look at all those great samples we could slurp right there. <laughs> yeah, I know. We just and fell off the edge. All right, let's see if we can scoop them like that. Yeah. Oh, so many great branches. Yeah, just they're raining. <laughs> taking. Not moving. You're not going to move? Okay, I'll get us right in there then. So if we could do it from behind, that's usually the best bet. All right. Is that large for a squat lobster there? Uh, You're gonna have to angle it's that on the bigger yeah. end, yeah, yeah, it is. Try to section up. Some yeah, of if those any of those pieces. corals <laughs> make it in there, it's great too. Ah, sorry, I got confused there. There we go. Ooh, get some rollers. There's one on the porch, actually. I don't yeah, know I mean, we can <laughs> slurp that up. That'd be great. I'm curious when the term slurp started being used more commonly as opposed to suction hose because it's <laughs> such a it's such a more fun oh. word more fun funner funner word more fun more I fun i think more fun <laughs> no bye beautiful i have to just go in there over to gorge yeah because i'm gonna yeah yeah it's a bit of an overhang there and I'm, I'm worried about getting it onto the uh hitting the camera on it and if this one's just not possible we can try for the one in the coral too We've, we've had this discussion about how stubborn I am, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't believe you can do it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh look no. at that booty scoot. I had it. <laughs> Actually, is that a bit? Now, I mean, now it we can take the black coral. There. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> it was like, oh, I'm not going to wait below. on this rock. No, he's in the crevice. Ah, it, it is I see in him. the I crevice. He's, I see yeah. the I bubble. He was on the black yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me get perched on it. I think we can perch and do this one. We also don't have to chase this one. <laughs> it, 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 we could spend like our entire watch trying to chase this one. <laughs> exactly. And you might get it in the end, but it, it might not be worth the time. <laughs> do we have anything better to do? <laughs> <laughs> we you, we don't know. Would you rather know? <laughs> so what I'm hearing is you'd rather traverse 240 meters. <laughs> Along the coolest ridge ever, <laughs> maybe. Uh, why don't we go for the one in the coral? Okay. That may or may not still be there. Uh, that's better. Sometimes you're fighting yourself, right? Outsmarted by a lobster. Oh, they're really hard to get. Oh, that's Wouldn't pretty. Would be the first time. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I had to be very quick to to use this camera. Yeah, right. You have to focus it well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And let's just slurp some coral first so we can at least say we did that. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm bringing it up here. Mm. 
can go for it if you want. I'll pop it up to 40 now, see if we get anything else. Oh, that came off like butter knife. Did it? I think. Well, well there's, the branch I mean, the, the branch itself did. It was not going in the slurp. Oh. But. I'm looking in the bubble and I feel like nothing's going in. I'm like, really? There's oh, there's, I think a, a, branch. a little branch came yeah. in. Oh. Uh, <laughs> stubborn. <coughs> Just laying perfectly. Not as stubborn as me. There we go. We got, we got two at least. Yeah, if we could get quite a few pieces, that'd be awesome. I know this is really challenging. Leila, can you remind us the name of this coral? Oh, Rodan Aridagorgia. I think I've only seen one of these one, like once two. before. A couple good ones. There wow. you go. A couple Special good socks coral. in there. Oh, just yeah, yeah not keep as doing that. common. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah go yeah, in yeah, there, yeah. go in there. You can get it. It's a nice good piece if we can get it. You brush it on the. That's what I'm trying to do up in the bubble because I don't have depth over there. Here, I'll bring you closer. Don't reach out so far with the hose. Bring it back. You're gonna break the hose. It can go anywhere the arm can go. I don't trust that. <laughs> <laughs> and the arm is super strong, and it'll destroy plastic very easily. All right, there, 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 <laughs> Like that branch falling, it's just taunting us. It knows like that would hot. be perfect. <laughs> this is the most... <laughs> Yeah. Stubborn <laughs> coral we've come to. It's like I'm, I'm too delicate to be grabbed, and I'm <laughs> ridiculous sponge last shift. This is just ridiculous. Like, oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh! It just is giving me that feeling like it's gonna get stuck in the hose. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh getting worse. my god! Uh, now there is some in there. Yeah, there's some. In yeah, there. a tiny bit. I have a feeling that you're right in this. Is it possible? To uh, drop that into the bio box, the forward bio box? Um, I mean, technically, yeah. Or is Slurp not, is Sunction even on right now? It is. Oh, yeah. it is, okay. Like, I wonder if we let go, would it come out still, you think? Yeah, it Ooh, should. Boy. Can you reverse flow on this? Mm. Not that I'm aware of. No. Uh, maybe. Really? Probably not. I don't know what type of valve it's connected to, so I can't answer that question, to be honest Would with you. Would reducing and then bringing the flow back up change anything? I, I It seems like it's going to get stuck to me, so if we can drop it in the bio box, I think that's our best okay, bet. I'll bring the bio box out. But the way this is oriented now also makes it hard to do what we used to do. Um. How large would you say that branch is, Leela? 20? Like, yeah, 10, 15. 15. All right, can you bring the box out? Is there anything uh, in the boxes uh, right now that we need to be aware of? Yeah, there yes, are. there's something in the front one Trevor said was light. Uh, uh, there's a glass sponge and a black coral in the Lambda forward bio box. Omega is empty. Yeah. And then the starboard bio boxes, two of them have rocks. This can go in Lambda. I'm with just the afraid other of whatever's stuff. in there is going to be coming out flat glass sponge or black coral are we worried about those i don't I, none lifting. Of, neither of those sound like they should come out maybe the black coral was small i don't know they're not usually super floaty if you're okay with it i can try um we have to do something soon though because we're we're running too many hydraulic things at once yep I don't have the thrust. Can we Can you pop it out? I got it. Which one again? Lambda. That's the one on the... Forward. 
left. Forward port. Uh, what what it's over right now. All right. It looks like it's a little bit on the divider. Oh if, if Omega Z is here, just do that. No, it's it's, it's the the boat is shaking, like the boat is moving. Yeah. And then I'm moving. Come on. Nice. Looks like it's moving. Uh, please. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep coming up. Is there something in that box? That looks like it's coming up, Bob. Yeah, there is something in that box. There is something in the box, yeah. That's that coming a piece out. of the sponge. Come piece on, of it's coming no. out. Uh. Oh. No. Oh, come on. Nope. nope. There, it's gone. It's gone. Okay. All right. We tried. The, we tried. We'll close that. We do still have a few small branches in Slurp 4, no? Yeah, we do have a few small branches in there. Well, thanks for the valiant effort, everybody. <sighs> that was a really challenging spot to sample in and challenging coral to sample and squat lobsters that really didn't want to hang out. So <laughs> that's all good. There's that feeling like, but the sunken cost, but it's just not worth the rest of, not worth more time. Do you want a Niskin or something? What was that? Do you want a Niskin bottle or something? Um, I think we're okay. Uh, just an idea. Throwing it out there. That yeah, okay. we are in a pretty uh, spot we'll with slightly that. different stuff. Sure, James. Let's take let's take a Niskin. We can, but we need a win. <laughs> we'll do a Niskin win because we are over some really pretty Hemi Corallium fans right there. So that's actually very nice. And do some. The, I think the it's primnoid. a primnoid. Yeah. It's a it looks like calyptrophora to me. Yeah. yeah. And look how many associators they have. Yeah. It's crazy. If it would be uh, possible with this one to put the nisk inside toward the corals, yeah, that would be great. And to get. Okay, Mike, you go. Go ahead. Get ready with the. As close as we ball, think is safe. And then um, I'll turn the vehicle around. So this is hard to estimate the off bottom, Jane. You can just say that we're a few yeah, meters a, away from the. Yeah, court. it's such a big slope. You know, it's no, six yeah. meters, but. Um, yeah, no, we're it, it's not, we're, it's we're fairly close. That. Yeah. And I think you'll see that as I spin around here. Yep. Did you happen to get a picture of the fans before? Which fans? You go ahead. Of the hemicorallium fans that w are right next to this. We can do it I right now. I got some you want. from these coming. Okay, we'll we'll spin around and take some from here. I'm not sure if I specifically took these ones, but I did take some. Actually, I took one a couple moments ago. Let me see whoa, for the whoa. sample. They're in the background, but they're okay. Jane, is the picture that I'm take with the the other camera going? Yes, they it are. goes there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but. It's in a different downstream. Right. There you go, bud. You got it. I think so. So I would highlight here the hemicrallium and paracolyptrophora. Yeah, or sorry, not paracolyptrophora, just clyptrophora. We get it? Yeah, I saw it. Go. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's gone. Good job. Yay. Nice. Mm -hmm. So for reference, to see how close we were. Yeah, if we could just take a look at the community like real there quick. There was right there. Nice. Awesome. Oh, it's, it's impressive. Good job. It's also beautiful. And a uh, huge diversity as well. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I'm being so silly. we had hemicorallium, so calyptrophora, yeah, okay, okay. yeah, yeah. staropathies, or various black camera. corals. That's all. Uh, oh, uh, one between and polyopagon. Sorry, I didn't even pick you up. Yeah, I thought that, I thought it was starting to get jazz hands. 
scared me there, but... Oh, sorry, you said Hemicorellium, Staurapathes, Polyopagon. What else have um, you have here? Ecalyptrophora. Uh, that Hemicorellium. Got that one. And then you can just say various other black corals. <sighs> that was rough. Yeah, that was a hard request. Sorry, folks. No, it's okay. I'll um, just blame you later. <laughs> All right, we can carry on toward uh, toward. Um, do you want me to keep the porch out, or do you want to bring? It I back just put in? it in, actually. Oh, okay. Look at how many bases there are of corals say, that no. once were on this rock and yeah. no longer are. All right, where are we? And where Look am at I? Look at all the. What are those? Brittle stars. Can't see. Yeah. Um, they are brittle stars on that Calyptrophora. It's very cool. Okay, we do have to catch up. Yes. Though, I think. That's or the sorry. boat has stopped. I'm right, sorry, right, I'm right ahead of the you. The boat has stopped. I'm just like um, barely So we can stay and look at these if you want to. Or Let's take a quick like. good look at all these fans here. If we okay. could just get a nice view of those. And then we can move on. Are sea fans uh. corals? Uh, these are corals, yes. Hemicorallium precious corals. And uh, they're just in a fan shape. I just call them fans. It's also and they... Um, oh, is that, sorry. Is that what you're looking at? I thought you were looking at the pink ones. We are looking at the pink ones, yeah. Oh. What were you circling Sorry, at? somebody circled something. Yeah, sorry. There. It was me trying to focus on the black coral. Sorry, a bit biased. Oh. Um, <laughs> which black coral were you Never apologize. Which black coral are you looking at? Uh, this is just in front here. You can zoom. Sure, pause. yeah. If we could zoom on that. Yeah, it's 2023. No apologize. <laughs> wow. That's cool. Leila, could you capture that for her for me? I'm still writing yeah, in the sure. sample here. Thank you. There is a little star opathies. That's a, oh my, there's what a is, lot of What is this one here, on the to, one on top? Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can identify it. Identify it. And there's a lot of current here. Which is probably why there's so many things, things taking advantage of it, yeah. yeah. <coughs> Do you need a closer look? It'll be, yeah, if you can have yes, a zoom. Yeah, no yeah, please. Uh, hold on a sec. Is it pass, can you zoom out? Okay, even though if I don't manage to this view, uh, Jeremy, I think, is in the chat as well, if he's seeing. Those are all sponges, those white things on the vertical face, right? Uh, yep, polyopagons, the big ones. The small, what about the small? Oh, no, I think those are bases of... Oh. Well, actually, now that we're closer, I was going to say they look like bases of dead coral I stalks. They yeah, they are. They're dead dead coral if bases. If they're lily pies or tilopathies. Tilopathies, yeah. as well, because the branches yeah, That quite one has so many branches, yeah. yeah. It's quite, it's quite yeah. You can zoom, Panos. So, um, pa possible, I can write it in. It's all right, I got it. Possible no, telepathies. Nice oh, right there. Tilo? Telepathies, yep. Oh, that's pretty. Nice. I'm going to come into your bubble real quick. If ever there's a black coral you think you to is unique gauges. enough to collect, you hey, just let us know. Where are you going? Okay. I just going? want to check how many pinnacles yeah. they have, because uh, this can help yeah. us to identify. That's okay. Throwing a tantrum. Yeah. It's interesting that hemicorallium in the background is so in the recess. Yeah, it's mm, almost yeah. upside down. I mean, right. It's like four, uh, but I, I'm not sure. But yeah, uh, probably chilopatis or... Many things are growing down there. Or lily patties, one of them. Ah, beautiful, thank you. We're good there. All right, can we zoom out? Yeah. All right. Okay. Why don't we scooch forward a bit toward waypoint three? Is there anything in particular you want to see? As we go? Yeah. 
Man, it is so all yeah. so overwhelmingly beautiful <laughs> that we can't really possibly a look at all. Wow, kind of what a landscape! <laughs> I know, I don't want to leave any of this, <laughs> but, but, this but who knows what's garden. just beyond? So I know, I love the, the heavy. But curls. this is cool. I mean, all of these. I'm just pointing it out. You don't have to look at it, but those are all <laughs> dead polyopagon wow. masses from these big white sponges that have died and are now decaying. These huge clumps, leaving behind their silica oh. skeletons they're hard silicious um spicules is it uh, do they well, do they the have life spans the black or alone. would something cause them to die uh, well. do they have sorry what was that lifespans yeah do they actually have like a lifespan or or are they one of those things that could just continuously Go grow until something ever. actually i don't kills them off? uh they, they do have lifespans but they're very long so these can be hundreds of years old um, but I don't know what it is that ultimately is the the death factor. Wow, my gosh, just so oh many of them. Goodness. This is crazy. So this Are you getting so pictures amazing. of this? I, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> Here, you focus. I'll try and take pictures. Okay. Because always the right side, I can't focus for Yeah, some you can so only I'm focus on the yeah, middle. I'm going to concentrate How many there. is that? We one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I mean, if you go in the background, it goes on forever. In Atalanta, you can see it's like oh, nothing yeah, but well. polyopagon for this whole ridged crest. It's like a, cool. it's like a horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're just popping it's out like, of nowhere. Yeah, the Salvador Dali sponges. <laughs> <laughs> this is unrelated, but uh, uh, but aft face has a has a nose now. The aft face. Ooh, this oh, this is yeah. a weird one. Oh, Look at that. That's got right. multiple. <laughs> oh, is was that? Oh, oh I oh, do never see mind. it. That's a glare. That's a glare. The back deck now has a nose. Yeah, it's got it's got a cone nose. <laughs> what is it about being one meter up on these boulders next to all of this other rubble down below where there's nothing? Yeah, they just, just want one meter up, and you get out of the boundary layer. I guess I don't the know. The current, maybe. Yeah, like it. Yeah. He's hiding the current. So the sponges that have died and are laying on the ground, will they eventually decay? Uh, it'll take a while, a long time for the silica to... Yes, to, it will, probably. That makes sense. ...to break into smaller fragments. Good call. Oh, a lot of furia. Is that just a really big tree to pleura down there that I've totally covered? Was a core sample taken? Oh, there. that's I'm dead. Com I'm coming around. To that's another sponge sure. over there. Yeah, I think it's a dead one, but... Uh, do we know if a core... A core was taken? A, a core, yeah, was yes. taken. It yes. was? Okay, cool. But isn't it interesting to see, even though there is a uh, high diversity, the Polypogon is the dominant mostly. Yeah. 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 That, could we, um, again, stay along the right side of the ridge, if unless we're getting totally blown away? No. You want me to go up higher? Yeah, like yeah. up and up and over s towards the right side. To the interesting things, James. <laughs> <laughs> it's all interesting. Is this one dying? It is dead, yeah. Oh. So beautiful it looks still. One one zero. One one zero. Yeah. James, sorry, is this a good spot to zoom in on any of those black corals sure. down there? Yep. Uh, there's a polyopagon right to our left. I don't want to not crush, but. So like how important is it to get to our waypoints? Because um, that would make that would make mean, mean I have need to, to turn leave. 45 degrees port, which means we're going to leave this ridge. Oh, um, which is why I was kind of oh. doing that. I don't know. I w I'd like to stay along the top of the ridge, but along the right side of it, if that makes sense, or, or along the side the current is coming from. Okay. All right. I'll go. Unless it gets boring and we want to dip down, but it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. Yeah, I don't think zoom. boring will. You can go away. Uh, go ahead and zoom. Be so. around for a while. Okay, do we see any of these m mollusks that Jeremy is interested I, I, in? I think usually they stay in the middle of the, of the central. In the, yeah. in the middle, yeah, so we'd have yeah. to really have a good look at the bottom there. And they're 
they're Hold similar on. color of the colony. Uh, so, so it's very it's, hard to it's tell, quite, huh? It can be tricky to spot. Um. But a really nice, diverse black coral is assemblage it, here. It's impressive, it's, yeah. I mean, there's so many different kinds. Usually you just see like a bunch of bathopathies, but here we have bathopathies, staropathies, this weird trisopathies, or telopathies, I mean. Actually, one of the looks similar also, the, the, the one we collected that I'm discussing with um, Opresco, that's um, one of the authorities of black coral. So yeah. maybe can be sibopaths as well, because this was my first. That's a good zoom there, thank you. Um, we're My first move guess on. when I got it was um, the, the thing of the one that we collected. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I'm just waiting for for. Oh, the, is that a lobster moving? No, it's another coral. What was the yellow? What's that bright yellow golden colored coral? That's the star path. That's the st same star path as yeah. before. Looks like a crinoid. Um, that looks like it's a dead base of us of us um, coral actually oh and the chrysogorgia here their a set. lot of it looks like yeah. stellata or chryseus it's all quite small it seems the um, chrysogorgia I mean yeah yeah well also compared to the polyopica yeah. <laughs> I mean, everything looks quite small uh, but there is another um, here. Oh, past. I don't know what sometimes. Oh, this is beautiful. Wow. Um, wow. What yeah, were you saying? Merge. Sorry. I know we just passed one that looks like batch parties. Okay. I was going to ask you to zoom, but it's past. It's no problem. The next you think one. this ah, one there here? Is, oh. uh, there is one other one, yeah. Maybe they there we could zoom on that. To us. Yeah, you can see on the Triclops camera too. I'm not seeing any mollusks in there. Oh, you, could, you can zoom in if you'd like. Yeah, that would be great. There is another one. The other right yeah. So just for reference, what we're trying to get at is these corals there on the left, uh, trying to see the front ones, center uh, of them. But it's it's kind of a hard task. And you're looking for a mollusk? Yeah. You can zoom in if you'd like. For an associate on the base. But it's uh they're quite small, it's hard to get a good look. Mm. And yeah. The view from the cin cinematic it camera it right now is it's gorgeous. It's just fantastic, yeah. I I'm <laughs> <laughs> you got it. It's, it's really difficult because sometimes they yeah, are, the they same are color. Here, yeah. I don't think we can do it from. We could collect some if you have opportunity and and. Yeah, a good spot to collect it. Yeah, we can sit the here. If that's, can we zoom out, please? Do you want to grab that? What um, do you think? It doesn't have to be that particular one, but one of that kind in a good spot around here. They're they're all over. So okay. if there's a good area to sit in. That almost looks like a paragorgia on the bottom right here. We don't have to mm -hmm. look at it yet, but um no, it has been so amazing. So on the last watch they said the common name of this Aridogorgia is fireworks coral and I can totally see oh, why. Oh, 100%. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Why? <laughs> <laughs> It's just beautiful to watch it kind of spin. So Haisa, it would be at the base, right? So it would be necessary to collect more of the coral than we usually would. Is that the mm. case? I think the base is... Like this one even would be good if that's close enough. Since it's so small. Is this one yeah, that really one exactly. Yeah. It looks small enough to not be too huge of a sample. Mm. Come on. Nice. Yeah, that's a great picture. Oh, this view of... Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. We're just wow. gonna cheat her here, I think. Oh, that's fine. I'm so jealous of your 
<laughs> still camp capabilities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a bit tricky to keep the focus, focusing it, but... I mean, in that one it's area, how many area. different types of coral it's are there? There's so many. Time. So... That's actually, yeah, that's if a nice it's shot. possible to zoom on it first, that'd yeah, be great. For sure. And then uh, that's the one we're going for. So I think all three of these are within reach. Okay. Um, I think I what we're looking for it would be near the base of the coral. Right. In the, in, in the middle. In the middle, well. yeah. Okay. On the front face somewhere. Because it would be usually they Yeah, stay oh, they're in up here. here. Some of them Sometimes. Turn around, turn around. <laughs> if we can't um, get a look at it, that's okay. We'll at the collect it anyway. And sometimes just but just good pictures of that, Jane. Mm -hmm. Do you want to see the other ones? Uh, no, that one's fine because we'll just go and go ahead and collect yeah, that I one. I can. I can uh, it's very good zoom, but I didn't yeah. spot anything. Now is the. Uh, oh, there. I mean, there's a little white thing there. Maybe no, that's behind. You think still worth taking, Heisa, or no? It's full zoom there. Do you want to mm. maybe see one no, of the it's other better ones? Better we we see. We see one, it. Yeah. Okay, maybe let's take a look at the others quick so Zoom while up, we're sitting here. Ah, now it's turning. Oops. I don't see any on that either, I don't yeah. think. But sometimes it's really, they're very, they mimic a lot, the, the colony, the some, some of that we have in the Northeast Atlantic. Yeah. And um, they stay really, but I can, as, as far as I can see, uh, I'll here, let that I'm be not spotting in. Your call, whether you think it's worth taking a sample or not. I don't know enough about the Black Coral Associates. Oh, well, I the only thing I don't want to spend a sample that we are not so sure. I think since it's very diverse here, if you have opportunity for in, to stay checking with the zoom and. Okay. I think I'm getting, right, I'm getting we'll some information here in the chat and I'm not sure mm -hmm. if it's, um, it's just saying it should be around the central star. Chuck the other ones, they may be facing the right direction. Yeah, yeah we didn't see we, it. Yeah, what we're doing yep, now. So that's okay. Thank you so much. says it'll be on the back side with the tentacles. All right. Did you guys take that picture? Yeah, we did. Without the mouse in it? Uh, the, the mouse shouldn't show up in okay. the... Sorry, I don't know if it does it or not. It shows up. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> it's not actually a picture. It's a screen cap. There's a pointer in the aquarium. But or. if you lift off, we will take a picture of the Chrysogorgia as you do that. Okay. There's Are you a ready? mouse in the deep yeah. sea. All right, I'm going to let... You got the focus? Let flotation do it. So okay. I believe he's pretty slow. It's okay. <laughs> but here, uh, and our viewers at home should be able to see the cinema camera as well that we are talking about taking pictures from. Wow. Uh, um, wow. wow. It's like it's coming at you. It's, it's like away. a big furry worm. Okay. Nice. Looks like this. Okay, great. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having fun with that. It looks looks like one of those. Uh, it, look, it looks like he's doing this type of thing. Kind of reminds yeah, me of a feather duster a little bit. It, it does. totally does. Okay. All right, moving the along. The Atalanta eye view is nothing to sneeze at either. No. Oh my goodness, look at those sponges. <laughs> you are everywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> That's if what another was saying. We're surrounded. <laughs> another watch is going to yeah, come on yeah. and be like, you made it. Twenty feet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think we've actually technically passed waypoint two yet. No. Uh, but it was a very. But look, we took a bunch of a things right there. Yeah, I'm not complaining. Spot. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> Can we okay, have five zero less. meters, one five zero, please? So now we're over this sheet flow. Thank you. Substrate kind of looks. Kind of boring. Like, changing, like eh? that. It's okay. Very interesting. So it's just, I wonder if it's just because we were at the, uh, along the axis there, or just because we were off to the side, just off, yeah, just off the top bit. 
Let's go a little further in this direction, and if it stays boring, we can consider dipping down. <laughs> boring is not. We've really been spoiled, well, I guess. A, uh, <laughs> I know. An hour or two. There's a few things coming up here. Yeah, yeah. There, there, there's quite a bit coming up. You can see on the right too. Yeah. It's on the about 20 meters. Not 20 meters. Yeah, about 20 meters. Hmm. Although I don't know Crinoid. if I'm swinging anymore. Is talk coronoid as well. So, James, I don't know if it's possible to like go in the same direction you're going now mm -hmm. towards waypoints for you, but yep. just dipped down, all you know, further down the ridge, so not sure, along the right. top. Yeah, exactly. Step this way for a bit. Yep. I feel like our midnight watch is the watch of sponges. I know, we get a good sponge show. Y'all, I brought so much, so many snacks up to this watch. I was even gonna share snacks and I just like haven't stopped talking the entire time. Can't even mute myself to eat Jesus. Right, I'm changing heading now, so we'll come a little bit closer. <laughs> If you're just joining us, we're at 1,941 meters exploring an isolated yeah, seamount is on the southwestern limit of the Johnston Atoll. Exclusive economic zone. It's an area that was previously mapped last year by the EV Nautilus, but has not been visually explored before. So we're seeing here now a bunch of dead stalks of other sponges. That was looking more like the Phoreids or the Tritopura. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, is there a top? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, there is, but just a small top. Okay. I was expecting a big top. We just uh, separated from Atlanta right now, so yep. slow down, that's all. That's okay. So uh, I'm curious about this little... Uh, this is maybe the mushroom top coral? That, yeah, or that's what I was going to say that about? I think yeah, I... Yeah, we could zoom on it quick if we're waiting. zoom in on that? Yeah. The other dive we went on, it looked like there were some similar mushroom shaped. Is this a bo another Bolosoma or something uh, close related it to that? Possibly, yes. It could be the Ad. I don't think it's the ET at Venus Sponge, so we can go with Bolosoma for now, yeah. On that. There's a lot more current on this side of the ridge. Yeah. Is that a Walteria sponge in the background that with a squat a, lobster? A dead Walteria with a squat lobster, similar probably nice to what eyes, we collected Jane. the other day. Um, I was wondering. Fair bit of current. Is that difficult to fight in in looking at things? Uh, like this, it is because I'm not you know I'm not perched against anything. I'm right. kind of free flying it. Right. Um, it's not impossible. I mean, it's okay. It's okay. Let us know if it gets... No, no, no. It's it's more about getting good footage and stuff for you oh, guys. That, if the footage okay. is not stable enough, then we're going to have to go somewhere else. Yeah. Or just go to the other side no, of the I ridge. No, I think it's but okay right now. That's yeah. fine. Um, let's see. Is there anything else to look at while we're waiting on... Is, Lynette, is the ship... Can we zoom um, up on us? We're getting quite far away from it. I want to we'll get closer. Right is now. it moving towards waypoint? Oh, it's. Uh, I see what you've done. Okay, awesome. So it's coming down a little towards us. Great, thank you. Um, let's see, what else could we look at? We can look at, uh, did you have something, Heisa? Mm, no, just like, uh, because of this sponge, I was wondering if they are decaying, if they are, because they stood the way that it really looks like, that still you can. know, it's great. looks like it's not, this one you're saying is yellowy, looks like it's not totally healthy. Exactly. Yeah, you're right. It did. Are you flying by still cam? Yeah, yeah, sometimes. It's really nice. Um, okay. Let's continue on. Looks like this is fall. Which one? Where? This one yeah, broken like off coral. Mm -hmm. Looks like. Here we've got, yeah, just more, a lot of these dead polyopagons everywhere, dead stock bases. 
Would things, dead would associates parades. live inside of those that are dead? Uh, I, I don't know if I would call them associates anymore or yeah. the same, but like definitely things can be using that mm -hmm. as hiding structure. This looks like another, I can't tell if it's an ophiroid or a, it's probably an ophiroid. Yeah, that's great. Actually, hard to tell if it's an ophiroid or brazingid. It looks like an ophiroid though. Um, just using that dead stock to get higher up in the water column. Yeah, this it's is an excellent, excellent zoom. To be a flower. It's uh -huh. So disguised. to. So and these are any oh. list. Oh, I was just oh, going to say yeah. an ophiroid to uh, the layperson is also called a brittle star. A brittle it's a star. Type of so those are a lot there. bigger than the other brittle stars we've been seeing. Is that? Yeah, there are lots of different kinds of brittle stars. Um, but yes, also a brittle star. And they not so we saw. I think earlier they saw a sea star on a coral, eating that coral. And so some sea stars are scavengers like that. Um, like goniasterids are often a type of sea star often found eating coral. But um, brittle stars like this are not eating the coral. They're just using it to get higher up, or the sponge stalk, whatever it may be, using it to get higher up in the water column, and they're feeding, suspension feeding, so feeding on whatever is drifting by, and they use their tube feet um, to to grab onto things as they pass by, and then they use their tube feet to pass it down towards their mouth, down along their legs towards their mouth. Well, yeah. Uh, looks like we're seeing, here's a, could we look at that real quick? Mm -hmm. It's like a weirdly angled Rigadrella or something. Rigadrella, yeah. Some Euplectelid. And that looks like a bamboo on the right, maybe. It's a black coral there. We're going to get a look, yeah, get sure. look at the right face of it. Uh, yeah, right. They're all facing away, actually. Which I think is going to be the... Yeah, the... Oh, there's a little urchin maybe right here. Could we actually look at that if we're too far for the Rigadrella right now? So just watching the marine snow, I'm seeing it kind of move to the l left on the screen, which... Yes, right to left. Yeah. Looks like it is actually... That would be south. north? S no, we facing we're facing... Way? We're facing this way, right? So it's southwest, right? So would it be going from? north? Uh, right, a southwesterly current. Miles. Okay, gotcha. Wow, that's oh, a nice urchin. Nice. Yeah, so these, you know, on the topic of how... Uh, echinoderms feed uh, urchins and brittle stars are both in the same larger group and you can see that urchins actually also have tube feet um, so it's not just the spines that are sticking out of the of an urchin it's also you if you look closely you can see little tube feet very they're long long tube feet almost the length of the spine um, waving around and, uh, but they're not using the tube feet to feed. They actually, on the bottom the side we can't see, have something called an Aristotle's lantern. And they, it's like five jaws that meet in the center, kind of like a, I don't know, horror movie mouth of some kind. <laughs> they're really beautiful structures though, when you dissect an urchin and you look at, at an Aristotle's lantern, but they're scraping off stuff that's on the, on the, on the rock or, or wherever they are. Cool, that's a good zoom there. Um, and if we don't have time for the Rigadrella behind it, that's okay. It's interesting, there's not a lot of fish that we've seen. Uh, the, the sponge was the other thing that we had been talking about. You're Sorry, right, Jane. Mic was muted. Uh, we have a little bit of time, so okay. we, can, we can take a look at that. Sure. Um, can we zoom out, please, Panos? It's so, it's, that one's weird and contorted. We don't usually see them bent around like that. 
Um, this is a good spot, actually, if you want me to spin around and take a look at these black corals from the other face. Sure. We can do that, too. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, it's actually multiple sponges. Oh, there's a Rigadrella. They are both Euplectelids. One is definitely Rigadrella or Dictialis. I have a hard time with those two. Um, yeah, it's okay. We can call them two Euplectelid sponges. Take a look at the black coral. Which one do you want to do first? Ah, uh, coral is fine. Well, we're. Say we're going to run out of time. I don't think we will. Yeah. But is that Say okay. coral. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, Panos. Oh, it's so hard to tell. That's it's just impossible. Yeah, it's really hard to see. So I think probably if you have chance, if you can collect at least one, um, or I don't know what's the... Here, the now? How, how is Do you think that we have the time for that? What about this one on the right? What's going on at the base there? Some spikiness. Yeah. It's hard. I guess the Heise was explaining that they're all up the central axis, maybe. Uh, is there time to collect either one, James? Yeah, we just stopped the ship. Okay, great. Then, then either one of these would be worth a grab. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Panos. I'm going to scooch forward. Yeah. So here we're seeing a big diversity of black corals. That's um, exocoral, and, and we have seen at least like patipatis, probably a few trisopatis, um, lily pads possible as well. Is this, um, I don't know how stiff these are. Is this uh, suction? They're not suction, no. no That's okay. a grab. Oh. And they can be a little bit floaty. Can you turn some lights on for me? Yeah. So for something this small, would it make sense to take the whole colony or just try and snip it? Uh, we can we can take the whole colony here because there are quite a lot of them, so that's okay. And also, what we are looking for, it's for many dissociates and we're not sure where we can find them. Usually it's in the central axis, but uh, can be also in their um, back or sometimes in their in their plates, the attachment plates. For science. Oh, here we got some Atlanta action. Look at that. Get some good picks there. Look at that. I. There you go. Awesome. Can we, uh, which bio box? We can do anything but Lambda. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, if you think you can get This is really it. light. I would prefer to put this in the front because yeah. there's no thruster wash. Okay. That's fine. Omega then. Um, um, did I you add the... Oh, we didn't get it in there, did we? No, I just, we just had the slip. Right. Uh, okay. Uh, anything. It can oh. go in either one. I'm gonna bring you in. Well, no, we have a black coral and lambda. Oh, we do. Back. Yes. Oh, oh, okay. Then in omega. Oh, you got it. Okay. Was that, that? I missed it. Was that the whole colony? Yes. Yes. Okay. Great. Yeah, as much of it as I could grab. Okay. And it looks like it's about t ten, ten centimeters. centimeters yeah. yeah. Box out, please. Yeah. Data is that zero five five? Box coming out. That is zero five five. Correct. Thank you. You're welcome. So in Omega, correct? Yep. Yes, please. Allegedly, there's a black coral in the other one already. Yeah, I don't but see it. But I don't it. see it. Yeah. Hope, I hope it's in there. 
Nice and smooth. Oh no. Oh, I jinxed it. All right, don't quit oh, yeah, it. Don't yeah. wait. Close it. It's like creeping out just a little bit. That sponge also wants to get away. Oh. It's like a really light uretid sponge or something. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, that's just that. Thank you. No problem. Glad we could finally get some coral. Okay. Let's take a look at this other thing to our left. When you have a second mic, do you mind turning off those inside lights? Thank you. Okay. Yeah, and this can just be short. Uh, the, the, the boat has stopped, so... Um, you can... Nice. You can zoom in, Panos, if you'd like. Nice picture. Oh, so they're hugging. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is what that is inside, but it might be. A lot of these. That almost does not look like a shrimp, though. A lot of these have a have shrimp associates that li live inside and that grow inside of the, s of the sponge. They like spend their whole life in the sponge. Um, and in some similar euplectelid sponges like this, it's actually a pair of shrimp that live their whole life together, a male and a female shrimp inside the sponge. And so I think it's in Japan. Uh, these are given as gifts on for, for weddings because of the, the male and female shrimp that live inside. Okay. That's interesting. That is interesting. That's surprising in this yeah, economy. Zoom out, please? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I don't know much about like if this is a dead or alive thing or whatever, but. That, that sponge right there straight up looks like a loofah. It's, it's uh, a these are tiny steropods in the base of the. Yeah. There's a tiny star about this. That's a big bamboo. That was once a, once a large living bamboo. <laughs> we haven't seen too many huge bamboo co colonies. Looks like that one has some damage though. Oh yeah, it's mostly dead. Clicky clacky going on. Yeah, we're typing in the chat over here. Sounds like a typewriter. Bridge now. Can we have five zero meters one one zero, please? Thank you.
Oh. Tugging. Tugging, tugging, tugging. So here looks like the diversity decreased a little bit. Seems to be somewhat patchy. Yeah, but it's more, looks like meeting for corals, less, but more sponge. Maybe less abundance, anyway. Yeah, definitely. I don't know though, we're, there's, it's definitely, it's lower, but there's still quite a bit down there, a lot of just light colored things. Mm. Lynette, would you mind humbling me with how far we've gone since we got on watch? Uh, not far. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know the number. I need to hear it. Uh, do you really want to know? Uh, yes. Uh, Negative 10 meters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I do. Less than 200 meters. Okay, yeah, we got to oh, make We've seen so many things. We have, and you know what? We're here to find these diverse communities. Oh, yeah. So Some stocked sponges up ahead. Going through with a fine tooth comb. And, right, other watches make better progress so that we can make less. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, they were going pretty slow up the side of that sand <laughs> hill, so. Yeah, and look. Much in, in, the, in the much the same fashion, but we had to go through the blue water. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. right. <laughs> have fun on the other watches. They, yeah. Twice, right? Okay. Twice. Is that a squat lobster? Where? Uh, lasers, right? Oh, right we, now it uh, looks like a base. I think probably of a right coral, there. but may maybe you know worth a look. We go, we because I actually right was thinking us, that so. the sponge right there is pretty cool to look. Look at as well. We haven't zoomed on parade? any of these parades, yeah. It's asking if we've run across any trash or no, other things. Really. No, I haven't seen we any. We haven't on which this is kinda nice. expedition that I know of yet. Yeah, we're, we haven't seen any in the water either, floating. No. I keep hearing about this big garbage mm. patch somewhere out here. I've never seen it. <laughs> yeah. Somebody was talking about that the other night. They said it might be further north. But being out here in the middle of the Pacific, it would be very sad to see a giant garbage patch, Wouldn't that's it? for sure. Yeah. Unless it was teeming with life. <laughs> Which apparently it is, but still. Yeah, I don't think it's a lobster. Uh, which one did you want to see? Sorry. Um, this sponge there. Okay, I was looking at the right thing. Oh, that's why it's so, like, dull. Are these sponges all around? Are they still living? They look the a little bit darker. The brown ones, not so much. Yeah. No, those are not alive. Another one of those purple urchins over there on the left. And this... Oh, yeah. You can zoom in, Panos, if you'd like. These are really cool morphologies. Cool. These are probably my favorite of the glass sponges we've seen. That's pretty. If we could take a look at the top. Sure, you zoom out. That is the top. Yeah, nice. All right, that's good there. Right. Asako Matsumoto at the um, at an institute in Japan has who has been lovely on the chat is always lovely helping us out identify things. Um, was telling me some more background on the sponge wedding gift story. Which also, she was like, every time we see these sponges, people start telling that story. <laughs> um, so I was a bit cliche there, I guess. But the chili, apparently they were, uh, it's not done so much anymore, but it was done at first. Um, European tourists to Japan would uh, buy the sponges cleaned and dried, and they were sold as gifts or souvenirs um, that they would take back to Europe. Hmm. 
very three-dimensional geology here. And the sponge that I was talking about was first found in Japan. So that's why, why Japan? Yeah, I'm really this good is pretty. boulders here. Yeah, big boulders, yeah. huge, huge. So a word that coral scientists throw around a lot is the word rugosity, R-U-G-O-S-I-T-Y, mm -hmm. which is basically a term that describes how complex three-dimensionally the terrain is uh, from coral structure. So you can measure the topo or excuse me, the rugosity of a reef by kind of looking at the, um, if you were to lay a chain over all these corals, what would the chain length be in mm. comparison to the horizontal straight distance? So to kind of get a, an idea, and I'd be curious to know what the rugosity of this, this bathymetry, all these rocks are, mm. because providing a lot of habitat, theoretically. Yeah, a lot of surface area. Could we look at the yellow um, to the left? if we panned left oh wow those are big uh, down a bit I don't know if it'll be possible the I was just looking at like that the there next to, next to the one that looks like an ear yeah just the one that looks like an ear <laughs> <laughs> it does look like an ear uh, yeah I just want to know if that's zoom, you can go ahead and zoom on us overgrowing a skeleton or right below it. Mm -hmm. right. like oh, yeah. No, that That's actually good. is the coral, I think. Is it bamboo coral? Yeah, it's a bamboo um, S S1 clade, probably. It is chilly. Because those are usually the yellow ones. I don't, yeah, it looks like it's the actual bamboo coral. And there's a squat lobster on it. Ooh. Get a good look for Paula. That squat lobster looks very relaxed on that. And a, that is a, a big Chrysogorgia right here. That's one oh, of those planar ones. Cool. We Wait, yeah, could, about, right? could we? Could we come, up, come wide, wow, please? Oh, look at that. Sorry, we'll go back down. I was just, uh, I sure. noticed that I was coming yeah, down on a, on a sponge. So I. Thank you for adjusting. I, I kind of freaked out a little bit. Yeah, you can see it in that one. Oh, yeah. I almost I almost landed on her. That's so weird. It's in an Atalanta, you can't see it at all. <laughs> Very confusing. Maybe it's, is it way further down than we, oh, no, it's just in the dark. Yeah. Okay, there we go. I can come in beside it. Nice. Man, I hadn't even been thinking about how you had to avoid every sponge oh, yeah, that we Yeah, sometimes we've I just landed. can't get to places you guys want. That's okay. Let us know. But that's a huge Chrysogorgia fan. All right, Panos, you can go ahead and zoom. Try to bring the pan up a little bit. Um, so now we're looking at the one that's up to the left. Um, Where left? Uh, up there. Next to the one with the, ah, that sorry. looks like the ear. The, the other left. Yeah. <laughs> Just zoomed in on that colony would be awesome. Yeah. And if we could zoom where the squat lobster is. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, zoom out a little bit. I think th I think it's a squat lobster up there. Oh, oh, sorry. Different times. That. Oh, I thought there was. A, oh, sorry. I thought you were looking at that. Oh, guy. sorry. Nope, not, not that one. That and one. I could be wrong about that being a squat lobster, but it looks like there's something in. It okay, could just be the zoom, angle you can of the zoom fan. In on that. Oh, let's do this first. Holy cow. Yeah, yeah. it is a squat lobster. Oh, yeah. So this is uh. a really big Chrysogorgia fan. I, I don't know if I've ever really seen them get, like, big fans like that. That Asako is typing it away. Perch it on them. Ah. Yeah, Asako, that's okay. Here and I can't sit because of that. Sponge. That's all right. If we see another one of these in a better place to sample, that would sure. be a valuable one, but we don't need to go hunting for it right now. The connection of that sponge to the rock down there on the bottom is really cool too. The threads? Yeah. Mm. yeah. The um, glass fiber fibers. I don't 
think we're going to be able to sit here to get that one. That's okay. I know that's that's not a good spot, but that is very cool. So if we see another. Okay, let's uh, get back to our heading. Sorry, guys, I wish the factors weren't so limiting today. No, that's okay. Not a problem. You can't control the currents. Yet. <laughs> Yet, yeah. Who's got a dive plan? Right I here. got one right here. Thank okay. you. That is a big coral back there, too. Honestly, oh, looking at that? the progress that the other watches made, I'll feel good if we make it. We just gotta, we just gotta get to waypoint three and a little past waypoint three, and I'll feel okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bad news. That's like. Five times the distance that we've gone in the first two hours. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. We can see a bunch of cool stuff and then just beeline it there <laughs> for the last half hour. Only stopping for, you know, whale fall type things. <laughs> type events. <laughs> whale yeah. fall type events. I de definitely think we need to be, we Too should aim fighting. to take no. okay, well more then progress. Okay, well, I can go faster and... Yeah. Um, Hope for the best. You sure. <laughs> tell me when to stop. Yes, we'll do. Well, you're telling Look at that relief. I will pull the boat Atlanta as I'm doing already. It seems like, I mean, it's still an incredible community, but very similar to what we've been seeing so far. So that's diverse black corals, huge polyopagons. Uh, a lot of chrysogorgids, including these big aridogorgia. I'm doing the su summary, I don't know, for you, Jane. Yeah, no, I, I got um, it. Some bamboo. Oh, also, some bamboo corals, but not a lot. Not a lot. Um, and then in the, on the sponge side, also some phoreids, tritopleura. And sorry, back on the coral side, um, primnoids. Which I think have been mostly Calyptrophora and Hemicorallium. We have seen also. Could we take a look? Doesn't need to be a long look, but a short look at this mm -hmm. pink coral there. Yeah. Just uh, to see if it's Hemicorallium or Paragorgia. Yes, go, go for it. So we haven't seen much in the way of like soft corals, like true soft corals. It seems like the uh, these gorgeous. I mean, are all soft corals though? They're all with all gorgonians. Uh, yeah, sorry, not not the gorgonian soft corals, but like but like the, as soft in texture uh, corals. Yes. <laughs> well, the, I think they weren't they formally is classified the, as separate? like true soft corals versus gorgonians. Oh, maybe that I'm not cool enough you to know these uh, details. We saw <laughs> see, I, I only know the high level. Huh? Probably the anthomastus, you mean? Yeah, that kind. The anthomastus or the heteropolypus. Those are, though, with, within the same group as the Hemicorallium and the pe Paragorgia. Yeah, but it's quite recent. It was in the revision now. Yeah. That before. Um, yeah, it was yeah. totally the revision. That's why I got it wrong. Yeah. We'll say that. So <laughs> yeah. That <laughs> being Can we zoom any closer on that? Wow, that's really beautiful. Is that full zoom? Uh, full zoom, yes. We did see some okay. Okay. sea pins at the beginning of the like dive. Uh, sure, if we're waiting on Michael. Quick. So what? Not was necessarily. That a, He's um, just going to the bathroom. We can continue on, but. Oh, okay. 
to uh, that um, yeah, just a little closer. closer. Absolutely. Seem to be a hemichorallium in your esteem? I, I, we're going to need a closer look, I think. It was not immediately very obvious. It's probably hemichorallium, I think, but... Go ahead and zoom there, Thomas, if you'd like. Yeah, it seems like hemichorallium, although it's like big polyps. I mean, very, very large Great. tentacles for hemichorallium. Well... We have pictures of it now. <laughs> is that adhered to the rock behind it, or is it just the view that we're looking at? Uh, it is just the side that we're okay. looking at it from, yeah. Okay, that's good. Thank you. I, I, don't, I don't know. I've not seen a hemicrallium with such long tentacles. But I also didn't really see any paragorgia bulges. Maybe Asako has a better guess. Asako's agreeing, probably hemichorallium. Awesome, thank you for the comment in the chat from Wales, I'm learning so much about the huge range of known and new sea life by watching your dive streams. Oh, awesome. And by whales, we're talking about the location. Yeah, <laughs> took me a second. Some of these polyavagons almost seem like they have two faces. You know, they're not, instead of just being concave on one side, they have two concave faces, I like that. which is pretty cool. Yeah. Have you seen so that maybe before? The switches. I haven't noticed that before, but I've been seeing it a lot on this dive. It doesn't mean I've never seen it before. I just don't remember seeing that before, but. We have a question in the chat. What's the speed limit? <laughs> Nav question. <laughs> speed limit? Well, limit, uh, I don't, light. I'm not sure limit. if we have. How fast could we go if we wanted to? We, do we uh, ever, couple. we tug at a knot sometimes, do we? Yeah, like if we're really trying to get from one spot to one another? Knot, yeah. maybe. But it like up like in the water, we're going through the water column. Yeah. Yeah. How much did you say, Lynette? One? Yeah, one knot. But that's like really trucking it. I mean, <laughs> over a boring sandy patch with the vehicles on the bottom, max probably 0.5 knots or something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the more yeah. tether we have in the water, the less. You know, the slower we can go. Too Are we descending drag. slightly? Looks like a downslope somewhat. Slightly. Just letting uh, Adelanta catch up. Sure. What's this? If we could wait, if we're waiting on Atlanta, if we could wait a little closer down, please. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Is that? I can't tell if that's an actinostolid or a mushroom coral in the back, but it's too far away right now. Just because we mentioned. Um, Which one? Yeah, we could just look at what's right in front of us while we wait down yeah. below. That'd be awesome. Ah, uh, it's an actinostolid anemone. There's a few things here. There's an anemone there. Left. Good. Black corals, of course, all facing the wrong direction. <laughs> if we scooch back just a little, just yeah. see what, what there was there.
Yeah, if it's possible, please, could you zoom in oh, one yeah. of these yellow colonies, like probably Staropatis? Uh, yeah, we're just going to turn because there's a, a mound right there. And I can't, we'll be able to get a good angle at it. Do this, take a look. The ones right below are, yeah, whichever ones are close and closest and easiest for you. Yeah. James, do you use gauges or just the images to measure those depths? Sorry, can you repeat that? Yeah, when I'm looking at the screen, I can't, I couldn't see that that was a mound. Were you using the gauges to determine uh, that or, or can you just um, train your eye to watch Kind them? of all cameras and shadows and you just kind of, you know, now that I've been doing it for a while, kind of recognize things like that. It's definitely it is hard some to skill. see. Yeah. Because there's no depth perception through one camera, right? Yeah. Um, okay, go ahead and zoom, Panos. Oh, it's really a beautiful color. Yeah, it's amazing. I'm trying to focus on the ah. other camera to, yeah. to get a different view. Can we zoom out, please? Just for one second. There's that sponge. Okay, mm, all right. Damn. All right, I'm happy. <laughs> Uh, the one that w looked no, like just, was it's under. Like right, yeah. It's like right there, yeah. Yeah. Okay. What was that? Zoom. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It would be cool if we could look at that. I don't know where that one is, but. I can't focus on this one, unfortunately. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. It's out of frame. Wow, look at this shot. It's a very it's nice zoom right amazing. there. This is oh, perfect. Wow. This, we have s uh, such a diversity of uh, black corals black just in corals. the single shot oh there's yeah. a crinoid on that that crinoid looks a lot like the black coral yeah. what's the um, um, what's the coral that the crinoid is on another black coral I don't know what what kind of black coral that was the one m earlier where we were like not quite sure if it was telepathies or uh, okay ah, and there's a um, that that's good there we can catch it? up okay. now okay zoom out please If you want any cheese, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'm okay for now. So sharing <laughs> snacks up here. I'm feeling guilty because I stay <laughs> feeling guilty. <laughs> Sunday is ice cream day, so uh, we got a nice little treat really after dinner. It's great. But it is about two in the morning, so it's been a long time since dinner. So we have a question in the chat about the different cameras on Hercules. I think that question was asked, an asked and answered earlier um, in the dive, and we came up with nine different cameras on Hercules. Uh, we are using a new camera, um, just giving us some different images that we're able to have a little bit more clarity in what we're seeing. It's a cinematic camera, so we're testing that out. Yeah, and just less stuff. <laughs> Looks like we're in an area where we don't see as many of the big sponges that we've seen before. But is these ones all bamboo corals? Yep. Yeah. Did you want to see those? If we could zoom on one of them, yeah. The unbranched things. It does look bamboo-y from here. Bridge now. And that's... This is quite a stock. Sp Can we continue the sponge five zero the meters right east, please? Yeah, dead euplectelid there. Thank you. You can zoom in there, Panos, if you like. We're stable all the way if you want. Ooh. You want to see the base or the top, or you want to see all of uh, it? No, that's fine. Okay. Yep, it's a bamboo, I think. It doesn't seem. I don't see the the nose, the nose but it, it's not a it's not a primnoid, so it's a bamboo. It's it looks very bamboo-y, polyps. <laughs> They're the big fleshy polyps. Uh, that's good there. 
Oh, there's a hyalonema, hyalonema sponge in the back. The, I'm not. We don't need to zoom, but it's that one. I was gonna say, oh yeah, that one. I can see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just trying okay. to get a feel for if it looks like still. If it's, is it flattening out? Does it look like it's more interesting in either direction or? Definitely seems to be it's flattening out. Flattening out. Okay. It looks that way, um, but. That's the that's the bumper bar. It's like right. I'm actually looking up and oh, it looks flat. So right. we're going uphill. And if you pan left and right, is there a dramatic difference in anything we're seeing? No. The rocks Not are changing. Really. Yeah, the rocks are kind of turning to like these more sheet. Do well, we need any rock samples? It looks like maybe some of those are loose. Yeah, I was gonna say this is like yeah, a rubber. It field. would be a good spot actually to take a rock. Alright. Um, are we ahead? Do you think it would be possible to do... I think we can do, do a rock sample. Okay. Without holding the ship? Um, I can hold the ship. It's no problem. Whatever works. Whatever I do... It's been getting us going pretty fast, right? We haven't been waiting on ship nope. very much. Yeah, so that's well, okay. Well, Lynette's been on it. We haven't really been noticing. She's Lynette just is been, on it. She's been doing Excuse her thing, <laughs> keeping us on a roll. Perfect. Um, so we're looking for more angular. We're going uh, for an award-winning rock here. Award-winning <laughs> yeah. rock. Uh, uh, let's see. That's quite round. Uh, we can also, move, like, if you see something further up, we can move. I don't know. I'm just pan looking around. It doesn't look like anything here would be much worse than anything up there. So, right. yeah, let's. Uh, what is like this rock there look like? Where? Sorry, I was moving it. Where where were you? That's okay. Like that one, Kay. right above that line. Sure. I can't tell if that's as Bridge small as I think, I I think it that. is. If can not, we can also please? look at what's what that Thank is you. or this one. Okay. Leela, how you're selecting these is based on color and shape? Yeah, I am I mean, I'm trying to look for the more angular of them and the not huge of them, but it's, I'm also, like, notoriously bad at trying to tell what size rock is <laughs> underwater. So. Did you say that one? Uh, I was talking about that one, but oh, it looks just out of reach. Oh, yeah, that's, that's okay. The, this one's fine right there, too, to look at. Probably a little better, even. Well, the cinematic camera is at the, the satellite feed number three for our viewers. Which camera was that, Panos? Three. So, three. This is the Beautiful. cinematic camera. Is the, oh, the yeah. cinematic cameras on channel three? Yes. When awesome. you're able, um, a nice spin of that would be oh, helpful too, please. There's a polychaete. And it's a polynoid polychaete. Oh. Mm. Uh, actually, they're called swimma. Yeah, swimmer. <laughs> yeah, they're not swimmers. Why? Because uh, one <laughs> swims and then the other one's a floater. And then <laughs> that one floats. There are swimmers <laughs> and floaters. That's right. Uh, which, uh, which. If we could take rocks? a slow spin, spin on it for imagery. Oh yeah, sorry. I and then that you guys like to do that. Once the spin is done, uh, we could do any of the starboard bio boxes except for A and E. So B, C, D, or F. Let's do the. I think it'll fit in one of the smaller ones. So okay. So B, C, or D. Take a nice look at our rock. It's like Herc is proud of the rock. Yeah, yeah. that's what I look like about these spins. Rock. <laughs> Ready for spins whenever Kinda you are. Kind of looks like the face of a robot a little bit with the... Uh, am I the only one seeing that? <laughs> oh, very dark on the underside. Yeah, that's good. 
no alteration inspecting the rock really visible looks like a good rock it looks well shiny looks, looks decently uh, big it's like 10 I'm by 20 but no you're not supposed to say that the, what the shiny <laughs> rock the shininess <laughs> okay uh starboard by box yes say. b c or d please I think we need more clarification. If it's not shiny, then how do you describe it? <laughs> Reflective. 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 Panos, thanks for pointing that out, that the cinematic camera is on channel three. Um, for that Welcome. viewer that was asking questions about the camera, that's one of our newer ones. Yep. And it's giving us some really beautiful. Yeah. It's also just a fun added perspective to have. Firebox yeah. up, please. It's sitting on the porch of Hercules, so. And sometimes when we're up higher, um, I mean, here there's clearly no lack of life, but sometimes we're like, there's nothing here. But on the porch, uh, from the porch <laughs> perspective, it's clear that there are all kinds of tiny things on the rocks you know that below the us. The tools that are available to you. I love you that. Oh, that's bigger than I thought, isn't oh. it? Yes. So let's do F. It Man, it see, this is... What I'm talking about, people, <laughs> I am lengthwise. the worst. Yeah. It'll fit I lengthwise. think I would have done the same thing. It didn't look that big. Silence. It'll it's fit. not. It's too big. It'll totally fit length. No, and then we're not going to be able to close the box, so I'm it's not going to be able to get it out. It's fine. And I don't think it's, it's so gonna big that it's going to take up all of uh, F. If they really okay. want to put something on top of it, they can. Fine. Also, look at, they already oh took yeah, up one lock. of the big ones. <laughs> there you go. Ooh. Yeah. Nice Nice. Job. I Great. say it would have fit. That was a you might have been right. It it might have been possible, yeah. but this is also it's fine. A, it's Make a, a big note, chance, Layla. though. Make a note, Layla. When you guys are taking out rocks, just <laughs> put it into A, one of the back ones. Just to okay, see what all right. Okay, put it but you know there. what? If it's really heavy and I have to like squeeze my both my arms into A, then it's then it's you know that's also a problem. So. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is this is for science. This isn't for convenience. <laughs> science is pain. Science is pain. <laughs> yeah, great. Thanks. Yep, thank you. Yep, something we noticed this afternoon is there's so much excitement when we come to the end of the dive, but there's still so much work to do. Oops. Everybody right. was working close to dinner, getting all the samples out and prepared. No rest for the wicked. Nope. Yeah, I forgot who it was that said something about dinner, and I was like, oh, man, yeah, that's a thing that happens. Everybody, please eat. And the geologist went to work right away, too, to see what was inside of the rock. Or rocks. I was going to say more rock. <laughs> I heard the classic rock joke earlier but, today, uh, too. But it's telling what? a story. So it's more like a ballad, like a rock ballad. A ballad. A <laughs> rock ballad. Oh, it tells a story about it, the history of its life. Oh. <laughs> and once. I like it. <laughs> All right, continuing on. All right. Deep Sea Radio, rock ballads. I always forget that there's Niskins. We don't. We're not doing that, right? Uh, no, we're okay. We we took two above those. You guys haven't forgotten about them. No. Right? Okay. All right. That's more important. Nope. I remember they are there. Okay. But thanks for the suggestion earlier. It was a good spot to take another. Especially because it's like I'm always a little scared of Niskin number six and <laughs> whether or not it really has popped. Let's hope so. That's a long colophake, a sponge on the left. Niskin number six. That sounds like a cool song. Niskin number six. <laughs> Sounds like a perfume. Chanel number <laughs> yeah, five. It does. Can All you right. repeat the name of that sponge? Call uh, uh We don't have to zoom on it. We can keep going towards where we're going. But um, it's Colophacus. C A U L O P H A C U S. Thank you much. Feels Deep. like a spelling bee. Deep sea spelling bee. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking Ooh, of Colophacus, could we actually look real Speaking quick at that? Um, yeah. See, start eating that coral. Speaking of spelling bees, we have a few classrooms logged in and watching us live. Um, this question, I know as a teacher, I'm super excited. This question is from a marine science classroom from Orlando. Oh, we're wondering, what are you collecting the rocks for? Sure. Uh, so we're on a seamount right now that 
Well, the way that the seamounts formed in this area, a seamount is like a small mountain under the water that doesn't reach the surface, but some of them may have reached the surface at one point. Um, but the seamounts in this area of the Central Pacific are in kind of interesting patterns. We don't, we're not quite confident in, in how they formed. And so part of what we're doing here is collecting rocks that'll tell, help us figure out how those seamounts formed. Um, and also in, in helping us figure that out, uh, we want to know when they formed. So how old the seamount is or how old the rocks in different areas of the seamount are on the bottom, on the top of the seamount, if they're different ages, that tells us something. Um, so when we collect the rocks, there are ways to age date them. So we're collect collecting the rocks to age date them and to figure out more about the, the history of the seamount and how it formed. Um, so this is a gonius I don't, actually don't know what kind of sea star this is. It is. Actually. I was going to say Gonia Starid, but I'm not confident in that. It's very um, cute. It is cute, but it is eating this bamboo coral. Aww. You can see that everything underneath it is gone. It's just the bare skeleton, and on top there are still polyps. And He's yeah, working its way up, huh? Yeah, so its mouth is on the bottom middle of its body, and uh, they can actually evert their stomachs and start digesting things on the outside. That's how you see sea stars eating like um, bivalves, like uh, mussels or, or oysters. Um, does, it, does the stomach encase whatever they're? Yeah, it, it can like wrap around wow. and then start uh, digesting things externally and then it can suck the stomach back in through its mouth. That's, That's a good zoom there. We can uh, keep and going. also super gross. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. not something you would expect <laughs> from a cute sea star. <laughs> I think I remember learning that fact at the aquarium when I was little and <laughs> sharing it with all my fourth grade classmates. <laughs> and it might have been the moment I chose marine biology, hard to say. But was that <laughs> it was that in one of those exhibits where you could put your hand in there and then yeah, everybody's the touch like, tank. Ooh. <laughs> You're like, oh man, I wish I could do that. <laughs> We've been having a good, a good watch full of echinoderm facts. So urchins and crinoids and sea stars, those are all echinoderms and ophiroids, the brittle stars. And the sea cucumbers, earlier and watches we're talking about yeah. them when they were over the sand. So that's what I was going to go to next is the sea oh, cucumbers. No, 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 you're good. I was going to just tell you that, that they camera. also, yeah. also vomit out their guts, but that is, um, they do that to escape predators, potentially, um, is is basically, ex, uh, what is what is the word, eviscerate, It'll eviscerate their guts, and um, and they can <laughs> regrow their guts then. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. crazy. <laughs> They're like, oh, well, um, uh, I'm scared. <laughs> and then, all right, so just to replay, did you just say they vomit their guts and then uh, regrow them? Yeah. Oh my goodness. But they actually, they can regenerate Re other parts. They can regenerate other parts. Yeah, so yeah, sea stars parts, too, yeah. if they lose an arm, they can regenerate that arm and yeah. So that's one thing that echinoderms can do is they have really good regener regenerative properties. Fun facts. Yeah. All right. Well, Florida is representing this morning. Um, good morning from Jupiter, Florida. What is the benthic invertebrate population like down there? And mm -hmm. would you take substrate samples? Wow. What educated questions. Yeah. Um, let's see. Substrate samples. Yes, we are taking samples from the bottom. We took uh, earlier a push core. So that's um, just a tube of of sand basically that we filled up to take and look at what's living in the sand. And then we're taking rock samples like the ones that we just described to age date the seamount and to figure out more about how it formed. And then the benthic community on this dive, especially since getting up onto this ridge and coming on our watch has been really interesting and diverse. We've been seeing a whole bunch of different kinds of sponges and corals, including black corals, precious corals, the pink ones that are really pretty, um, chrysogorgets, I don't know, all kinds of ones that look like fireworks, um, lots of 